Yes, I come from the um, cultural directorate for cultural heritage in Norway. <coughs> but this is um, um, about uh, a project I had more than 20 years ago for the Cultural and Historical Museum in Oslo, working as a field archaeologist. And at the time, let's say mid 90s to late 90s, uh, the university museums or others, the directorate for that matter, had no form of standards for taking care of digital, digitally created material. And uh, didn't think about um, that too much, but uh, one, two years ago, I decided. I asked Espen Uleberg, who works at the museum still, <clears throat> how do I go about finding out what remains of my digitally created material from more than 20 years ago? And what remains of my entire project? That's the outset for this. And as just presenting, I'm a senior advisor at the directorate. I work mainly with the, the SMR Askeladden nowadays. And here, these are the results. Anyone can find them in the library and now also online. At least if you have a Norwegian IP address for the, our national library. I think uh, this is going to be better soon by the museum putting all the excavation and um, reports out so they can even be downloaded. That part is not the big problem. But these are all texts, these are all the interpretations I made. Here's the storage medium from the mid 90s. And they won't last forever. Of course, I've loaded lots of it into uh, my um, work area at uh, work, but it can't remain there forever because the day I stop working there, it has to go as well. So something has to be done. And now I'll go into what um, this may seem like nitty gritty detail, but it's important details. And it uh, applies to every project before we started using GIS on a broad basis and had uh, guidelines for the archiving. In Norway, we have uh, formats for uh, geographic information. <coughs> We've had it since the early 80s, in fact. But this has been developed by the Norwegian Mapping Authority, by the, their GIS experts. They think mm, purely in their own th terms, and uh, their language is not easily understood by, by others. <clears throat> and I found one of my old files. This is simply measurements of points in the terrain where we found sites. And I noticed that the, you see the one uh, in the yellow, that's the coordinate system. It's a code for the coordinate system used. And people nowadays uh, do not always realize this coordinate system is obsolete, it's not in use anymore. And uh, they have to, that's, uh, um, uh, in fact, quite a lot actually have to know to um, make this file useful again. Also the fact that when you convert a SUSE uh, file, the projection is lost. <coughs> it, it doesn't follow into it, so you have to uh, actually put on the projection again and then put it on the map. And this uh, background is from uh, Askeladden web map service. And I can see that, okay, they seem to fall ex uh, where they should. Here I can also use the VMS to control, do they exist in the Askeladden Sites and Monument Registry anymore or not? What has happened to them? And this is um, the Askeladden National Registry, version one. Here I have found some of uh, old um, registrations and how they have been recorded. <clears throat> and they still exist in the newer versions. And we are on version 3 now. 
but the thing is, uh, over time, things in the database structure might change slightly. Perhaps not all the fields uh, are being brought forward exactly as they were. So one often need to check back. It, uh, and here we have uh, what um, has been talked about the Unimus, uh, the artifacts database. Here we can find them again too. So yes, they are recorded. And here we have a more difficult case. This was um, from um, structures we excavated and documented by um, slicing them and then drawing and describing. As far as I know, these um, schemas, there are hundreds and hundreds, uh, all in all, from many projects, have not been um, digitized, scanned. <coughs> this scan is uh, mined from a copy set. And of course, uh, the details of every um, pit can be perhaps not so interesting, but sometimes they are. This is um, uh, a huge project has been going on for the last couple of years. It is only a couple of kilometers from uh, where the former little schema came from. <clears throat> and for this project, if this documentation was easily available, they can find all um, the GIS. If not easily, they can find it. But uh, all these details and start comparing with the structures they find and see are the similarities. Do we have something in the old material that uh, we have discovered for the first time in our new project? Very difficult. And not to mention the f uh, photos too. Uh, they are still reside in the um, archive and probably also not been and digitized. So uh, the whole point of all of this is that there's a huge amount of uh, material that still exists on paper that uh, should be more accessible in digital form. The digital parts of it are mainly gone because they weren't taken care of at the time. And also a different case with coordinates. I tend to harp a bit on that because I, I work a lot with GIS and uh, I um, also work support for the SMR. SMR and uh, I see what uh, users uh, out there have most problems with is understanding coordinate systems, datums and things. And here we have simply just a list of coordinates. Nothing mentioned about coordinate system. Here you have to know what was the commonly used coordinate systems at the time. No information whatsoever except the numbers. <clears throat> so, this is a sort of a um, <coughs> correction. What will happen if? Someone who is today finishing a big or, for that matter, small project, will this person 20 years ahead be able to go back and recreate digitally their own project? I think the chances are far better than with my old project, when no standards uh, existed and uh, the university uh, thought of all sort of data as something private that they didn't take care of. Nowadays they do. The museums uh, have uh, created a lot of systems, so the chances are better. But we uh, would be very interested, in, interested to see if someone tested it a few years ahead in time. And also this, uh, the fact that <clears throat> we are creating more and more complex data. 2D data have uh, complexity. GIS, GIS have, uh, has complexity, and how do we take care of them? The little SUSI file I showed is a very simple file, but it's also, um, uh, you can archive it with National Archives as a document. It's e easily to 
use to open to read you can read it in notepad and not so you need to transform it into something to take it into a GS uh, system usually but um, that's also how do we take care of all these uh, digitally structures we create what is the important part to take care of that needs to do definitely to be discussed and also I think just to, um, to give an oversight uh, now <coughs> Aspen showed the uh, Unimus and um, added and the what all the museums are working on we also have um, the Askeladden which uh, is uh, geared very much towards um, planning purposes and the like since um, municipalities companies anybody that wants to build or change something needs uh, to know exactly where is the archaeology do we have protected or listed buildings here and so on and uh, we rather almost fanatic about getting things as um, accurate as possible when it comes to location also the fact that uh, Norway is uh, contribute lots and lots of forests and uh, nowadays they drive around huge machines when they're going to fell that forest and they need to know where are the small archaeological structures in the landscape so they use our web services for one thing they have it in the machine to look at it and uh, that's where accuracy becomes really important so we have a number of um, services and also if I I'm not sure how much is um, in English about um, the Norwegian um, digital infrastructure but uh, there's some online that can be read and I notice also a couple of uh, addresses for where you can go and uh, look at the cultural heritage data for download or the web map service, web map service. And uh, so we do disseminate our data, but we use this um, GeoNorge, the Norway Digital site, very much for that, simply because our main aim is to reach the companies, the municipalities and all that they need the data a number of them also have registered us um, users for our database directly but um, it can be this these are open data anybody can access them and download or uh, to access the VMS so there's nothing restricted about them and that I think was my presentation. Thank you.